Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, March 29th, 2017 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. First, a correction about one story yesterday. I mentioned the WebDAV exploit against IIS 6. It has to run on Windows 2003. I guess I mentioned 2013. There is, of course, no Windows 2013. It has to be Windows 2003. Yes, very old versions. The part you should be concerned about is old forgotten SharePoint servers. The Apache Struts 2 vulnerability is still actively being exploited, so hopefully if you didn't manage to update your servers, you deployed some form of mitigating controls, maybe a web application firewall or an IPS rule. There is a real great blog post uh, that uh, came out uh, yesterday that discusses this vulnerability in detail. It, however, also offers an alternative exploit vector that may not get detected by your current rules. So take a look at it and make sure that you are protected from this variant of the exploit because it can be as damaging as the original exploit. The original exploit used the content type header in the request. Uh, the new variant actually uses a multi-part request. And then in the second part, it does use the content disposition header essentially to do the same trick. So fundamentally the same exploit, exploiting the same vulnerability, but a different form of the exploit that may not get detected because you don't have the content type header as you had in the original exploit. The blog post also shows you what you will find in your logs. If you are being hit by this uh, exploit, you will see an exception being logged. So uh, that also should be helpful to detect if you had been attacked or if it hacks made it past your web application firewall. And we got our first proof of concept exploit for actually a pretty easy to exploit vulnerability that was fixed yesterday by Apple in its OS 10 update. The particular bug being exploited here actually affects EPUB files. EPUB is commonly used for electronic books and the Apple application iBooks does typically open these files on OS 10. The bad part here is that you can actually execute JavaScript via these files and uh, due to a bug in the way how iBook parses these files, the file URL can be used to open arbitrary local files. So with this, an attacker, and that's sort of demonstrated in the proof of concept, can open a random file on a system and then exfiltrate it back to a server. It's actually superficially at least looks a lot like uh, these uh, Word documents uh, with embedded JavaScript or just these zipped up JavaScript files that we see used a lot in the Windows world. This particular bug again should be fixed if you have OS 10 up to date. Now, Microsoft for a couple of years now runs a website called docs.com. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't really aware of that website myself, but it allows to share Word documents or Office documents with the public. And all you have to do essentially expose your OneDrive to docs.com. Well, it uh, looks like either user error or that Microsoft wasn't really clear about how this service works, but a uh, a lot of users did publish documents on docs.com that were never meant to be public. The result is that by searching docs.com, and yes, docs.com has a search function that allows it, you would be able to find things like confidential documents, passwords, usernames, and the like. So not really a terribly new issue, but it was sort of rediscovered and publicized on Twitter with links to various documents that probably never should have been posted to the site. 
And Jake Williams of Rendition Infosec did publish an interesting little tool that allows you to check a website whether or not it uses a certificate based on a Symantec certificate authority and whether or not it will be affected by Google's face out of uh, this particular certificate authority. The website will tell you if it's signed, first of all, by one of the certificate authorities that are affected. And secondly, it will tell you based on the age of the certificate at what version of Chrome it will no longer be accepted. Well, that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.